In this problem, we're asked to find the slope and the y-intercept of the linear equation 3x minus y equals 7. Then we're going to use the information to graph the equation. So, in order to get the slope and the y-intercept, I need my equation to be in the form of y equals mx plus b. Because m is the slope, and then the y-intercept, remember it's always an ordered pair. The x-coordinate of every y-intercept is 0 and the y-coordinate is b. So we need to take our equation 3x minus y equals 7 and solve it for y. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract 3x from both sides. So I get negative y equals negative 3x plus 7. Notice these are unlike terms. I can't combine them. And to get it into this format here, I need the x term before the constant. Now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. And remember, to make it easier, divide each term on the right-hand side by negative 1. So on the left-hand side, I get y equals a negative divided by a negative gives me positive 3x, and a positive divided by a negative is going to give me minus 7. Notice whenever you divide an equation by a negative number, you just reverse all the signs that were here down to here. So now it's in slope-intercept form. So what is my slope? My slope is the coefficient of the x term, which is 3. And what is my y-intercept? My y-intercept is the ordered pair 0. And what's the y-coordinate? Negative 7. So there's my y-intercept and there's my slope. So now we're ready to graph it. And so what we're going to do is we start with the y-intercept. So remember, when you graph anything, you always start at the origin. And to plot the point 0, negative 7, you go nowhere in the x direction, but you go 7 down to get to 0, negative 7, which is right there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to use the slope, but I need it as a fraction. Remember how do you turn a whole number into a fraction? You divide it by 1. The reason I want it as a fraction is I want to talk about rise over run. So my rise is my numerator is positive 3. That means I'm going to go up 3. My run is 1, so I'm going to go from left to right. So what I'm going to do is start at the y-intercept, and I go up 1, 2, 3, over to the right 1. I get to this point. Next one, 1, 2, 3, over to the right, right there. Next one, 1, 2, 3, over to the right. And so now I have enough points to graph my line, and now you try and draw something that vaguely looks like a straight line that goes through all those points. And then you put arrows on both ends. So there I've graphed the line using the slope and the y-intercept.